Okay, let's see. Stream appears to be live. Stream elements bot is running. Good. Got three people watching. Excellent connection. No dropped frames. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna give a little bit of time for the people in chat to appear. In the meantime, let me just do this. There you go. So people know what is it that we're going to see when they come into the stream. You see? Alien the Whaling Yutani report. This is a good, good book. Okay, so it's a couple of minutes before eight my time. So it's okay. Just going to give people a little bit of time. Okay, good. Got nine concurrent viewers, 10 concurrent viewers. We got Mr. Renob 1207, just too cool, bro. Thank you. And Joseph Tommy is here, says, hey, Howdy, folks. I made it in time. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. That is good. I think YouTube might be a little bit, you know, uh, I'm a little bit dizzy today as well. We'll see if this stream has the same, you know, fate of the of the Valheim stream, which is dead in YouTube hell. Hey, Scott, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Okay, I guess we're just going to start this, you yeah? know? So, hey guys, JC here, reading a book. We're going, we're going to just, just, you know, like peruse this book so you can get a good idea as to what the Whaling Yutani report is, you know? Hey, Paul is here. How are you? Welcome, Paul. Welcome to the stream. So, because this is a very important piece of information in the alien universe, you know? So it is important that we all know what's going on. No sound? Uh, according to my thing, there is sound, you know, anybody can hear me right now because OBS is registering things. Hello? Peggy says there are two likes and Paul says, I have sound. Scott says, I'm getting no sound. I think you should like reload because. Peggy also can hear me. Mr. Reno also can hear me. Yeah, try, try reloading or unmuting. I don't know. And yeah, we got apparently three likes and 17 concurrent viewers, which means that like 80% of the people watching the stream decisively do not like it. They think it's just bullcrap. Yeah? Uh, James Herman says, good sound on my end. Awesome. Bliso Falls 45, yes, you have sound. Nice. I hear you fine and dandy, says Joe. Awesome. And Stephen Philcock says, can hear you fine. Awesome. Al Velasca says, I can hear you. Awesome. Well, you can hear me. I don't know, Scott. Reload, do something, you know, like plug and plug, reset. You know. I've changed a little bit my 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 setup for the stream now. I got the light in front of me, you know. So you can clearly see the mug, you know. Okay, we got 15 concurrent viewers. This is not going to be like a high traffic stream because we're going to be looking at this, but it's okay, you know? This is Alien, the Whalen yutani report, you see? It's a report prepared by the Whalen yutani Corporation, you know, which if you remember, we fought back in Seven Days to Die during the Alpha 16 saga. Initially, we were fighting against the, uh, what we thought was the Whalen Corporation, and then we learned that in that particular universe, uh, the merge with, between Whalen and uh, Yutani Heavy Industries had occurred. So they formed the Whalen Yutani Corporation. 
And Joe Satama says, YouTube has been having issues with small streamers lately. I was in two other streams that crashed. Yes, you know, that was happened with the Valheim stream. It, it is stuck in processing hell. That's why I ended up just uploading my local recording, you know, so as to not to lose all the awesomeness that was that stream, because that stream was awesome. But now, like I said, we are going to do this, the Wayland yutani report. Okay, so let's begin. As you can see, I have my stream over here. We got the camera that I'm using to look at the book. We got the Elgato microphone over here. We got the camera that I'm using over there and this light over there. That's the step stream. Yeah? So we are starting. I'm going to put this over here. Hello, Jason. You just arrived, you know? I just had opened this, but I think you have this book. When I was talking about it, yes, you know, in, in, in on Twitter, some I don't know if you bought it or not, but it, it's good, you see? The Whalen Utani Corporation, building better worlds. Mm. It says, warning. The report contains uh, privileged information that is the property of the Wayland Utani Corporation, clearance level S2 and above only. Employees and contracted workers with clearance level below S2 found in possession of these reports can expel immediate termination and subsequent legal prosecution. You see? And this is redacted. You see? James Herman says, I have it. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so... Over here, we got the table of contents, company statement of interest, company timeline, Xenomorphs XX121, this species, you know. The Genesis, encounters on LV426, incursion on Hadley's Hopes, encounter on Fiorina 161, the fall of the USM Origa, and a new beginning. Hey, Greg, how are you? Welcome to the stream. And Jason says, I got the D&D book, haven't got this one yet. Yes. Operative word, yes. Uh, yet, I mean, sorry. So, company statement of interest. When multinational political changes on Earth and within the core systems required the breakup of the Wayland Yutani Corporation only decades ago, the company agreed to a designation change to the general public and most military interest. There is no longer a company, and obviously, the need to appear respectful of the law is ongoing. Within the empty empire of the United Systems military and on the decline, however, the law will be changing soon, considering the USM recent unprecedented mishandling of the xenomorph. We feel that it's time to reclaim our public status as well in Yutani and prioritize a new era of research and development based on xenomorph uh, XX121. You see? So this is said after the disaster of the USM Origa, you know, and with the political fallout from that, well, and Yutani is rising from the shadows. You know? uh, Arrow Keys Gamer says, I really like this book reveals. The art book for D&D was cool and brought back many youthful memories of the time I played the game years and years ago. Yes, it's awesome. You know, that is why we look at this. If, if I encourage you, if you like the book, to get it, you know, because there's a lot more information that we don't see on these streams, you know. But uh, this will give you an idea, a clear idea of what do we have, like, in the book, you see. So over here we get a general company timeline, you know, from the formation of the Whalen yutani Corporation, um, first um, atmospheric processor, first FTA capable device, you know, the Prometheus, the merge with uh, uh, with uh, Utani, you know, first recorded contact with the Xenomorph on LV-426 and the USCSS Nostromo, you know, um, Civilian Amanda Ripley encounters Xenomorphs at Sevastopol Station. If you want to see how that worked out, there is a playlist on the channel, you know, Alien Isolation, full playthrough. The establishment, establishment of the Hive Hope a colony on LV-426. You know. The encounters with the Xenomorphs uh, on the Sulaco ship 
and the Fiorina 161 uh, prison. Uh, there's other things, other incidents here, you know. Formation of the United Systems. Uh, some sort of incident on a place called Cadmos, which I don't know. Uh, advancements on FTL drives. Mega corporations are banned. Here's the incident. Um, you know, when Ellen Ripley was cloned. Uh, on the USM Origa. You know, those are all the, the incidents. This is a very, you know, like glossy book. So sometimes you can't see because of the reflection. Well, there's not much I can do. It's very glossy, you know. We get here the stages. Funny how they never seem able to deploy Xenos as a weapon. Well, in this timeline, you know, I've, I have some comics, which we eventually could, you know, sometimes see about aliens before Alien 3. You know, and there was a a, a whole uh, mythology of the of the of the the infection of the xenomorphs on Earth, war against Earth, aliens genocide. Um, I, I have a couple of those, you know. So I kind of like that timeline, not the official timeline, you know. Um, yeah, Bliss of Falls forty five. Hello, welcome to the stream. You get the stage one, the egg. Stage two, face hugger. Stage three, chest buster. Stage four, drone. You know. We got the eggs over here. They go, they're squishy. They go, and they open. You see. First discovered by executive office, office officer Gilbert Ward Thomas Kane in the cargo hold of a derelict alien ship on LV-426 in 2122. The initial stage of the xenomorph is roughly one meter in height, ovoid and leathery, with four petal-like lips at the top. They open, they bloop, and they just... Joe says that was good comic. I used to have the full collection from Dark Horse comic, even all the novels. Yes. Over here we get the face hugger, you know, with emerges and just attaches to you, and has some sort of uh, you know like proboscid uh, thing that goes down your your throat. You see, over here we get it when they, they when they die after you know delivering the like the embryo. You know? I have never seen this movie. Never interested me. It's a the the original is very good. For me, the favorite one is Aliens. You know, the second one. That for me is the pinnacle. Alien Three is good, but I kind of don't like the 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 the, the, the plot in the end in particular. Alien Four is just the bullcrap, so you can skip that. Sadly, it is canon. You know. If you ask me, it had it, it should have been alien, alien, aliens, and then you continue in the universe of the of the colonial marines. Over here we get the chest buster. This guy, he he come bursts out of the chest. He 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 sings like "Hello, my only, hello, my baby," things like that, and then he runs away. That's from Spaceballs, in case you didn't know. And here we get like the drone, you know. And also in the in the Aliens RPG book, it says that the drone then can evolve into like a a, a soldier and a, a, a Praetorian, and eventually it could even uh, morph into a queen if you know uh, needed. Uh, no Man's Sky is XX that produced a pearl, but it was scared to get them at first because they looked like the face. Yeah, yeah, the whispering horrors or whatever. Yes, exactly. Those things just hit you hard. And Paul says, we're nothing but stardust trying to find our way back to the stars. He went like philosophical on this one. Yeah, great space ball joke. The first alien film I still consider the scary horror film ever. Drama and suspense was perfectly crafted, says Joe. 
And Kainos83 said, oh no, Hellgate's incoming. Oh crap. Yeah, I did sing a little. Okay, well, I don't know. It's done, you know? And... As you can see, we get different iteration of the Xenomorphs. You know, depending on when they spawn. This one is the one from uh, uh, from the incident of uh, Fiorina 161, you know, spawned from a dog. And over here we get the queen, you know. She is the one that lays the eggs, you know. She is huge. And uh, she is the one that uh, was... Uh, you know, destroyed by Helen Ripley by just jettisoning her outside of uh, one of the uh, cargo bays in the Sulaco, you know, at the end of Aliens. And Spaceball is a good Mel Brooks movie. I agree. Spaceball, I have seen quite a few times. Yes. They, they, they use the Schwartz, I believe. And over here we get like the queen with the pots with the eggs, you know. That's pretty cool. Okay, what else do we have here? More images of the queen, you see. And this is the founder, Peter Whalen. You know. Sadly, they had to introduce the Prometheus storyline in this, which, if you ask me, is also the the, the bullcrap. Because there is this jackass, you know, the android, you know. This is um, David, the David series of androids, you see, this guy. Which for no reason just infects people during the mission on Prometheus. You know? I like to think that it starts over here, you know, with Alien. This is Ash, he's also a synthetic, you know, but the crew didn't know. That's why he attacked the crew when they, you know, interfered in his mandate from the company to bring back a specimen. Over here, we get Bishop, you know. Uh, the Bishop series, which uh, first introduced in 2170, received consistently high marks for multitasking skills and the ability to draw conclusions from presented evidence. This is from Aliens, you know. This was just awesome. Uh, and Arrow Keys Gamer says, I've seen it so many times that I can almost do all the dialogue for each for each character. That's awesome. How many of you knew that the clear slime, the Xeno drool, was the thicken used by fast food restaurant to thicken milkshakes? I think I heard that, you know, somewhere around. And this is from Alien uh, Alien uh, 4, you know. This is this is like a second gen is it's a it's an artificial uh, you know person designed by artificial person they were originally you know like a band because they were too human over here we get the atmosphere processing you know this is a background from prometheus yeah. uh, we got the cryostasis uh, cryostasis uh, units Fun fact, they, 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 they require cryostasis, it doesn't say it here, but it says this on the, on the RPG, the Alien RPG, you know, core book, it says they require cryostasis, well, for two reasons. First, to conserve, uh, you know, food during the, 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 the FTL jumps, because even though with FTL, they still needed some time to move around, you know. And the other reason was for to prevent neurological degradation during FTL. That's what it says in the RPG core book, which will eventually, you know, look. Every time I shake now, I'm gonna think Xeno drool. <laughs> yeah. Here we got like the the thing that David uses in order to like look at the at the dreams. We got David over here, you know, when they they encounter the 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 engineer craft. 
and we got Genesis. And it says the thing that I said, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway approached Sir Peter Whalen with an incredible theory regarding the origin of man, you know? And this is what trigger, triggers the events of Prometheus, which if you ask me, not good. Over here, we got the USCSS Prometheus, you know? Uh, which was launched uh, on August 2nd, 2091. You know? The most technological advanced and expensive FTL driver exploration vehicle ever created. You know? Great gaming system. Yeah, I agree, Wolfie. Uh, I like the alien thing when you, you, you do that and you get the stress, you know, and you, you toss the dice and you get the... The, the, the six, you know, like successes or not. Over here we got the... Oh, we got we got a, a thing. J Jason taped 10 uh, bucks, you know. And it says... Um, donating and just ordered the Wayland Utani report. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated, you know. We take the donations, we get the super chats, we take all the things and we buy these nerdy things. And then we, we share them, you know, we, we show you the nerdy things, you know. Over here we get the crew of the first mission, you know, the, the Prometheus. Let me just show you. You see? Meredith Dickens, which was actually uh, Sir Peter Whalen's only legitimate child, the captain, Charles Holloway, Elizabeth Shaw, Sir Peter Whalen, you know, David and other assorted people. And over here we got what they called the Juggernaut, which is an engineered ship, you know, which uh, was destroyed when the Prometheus, uh, you know, turned their ion drive and just went like a bullet into it, thus preventing them coming to annihilate us on Earth for some reason, you see. These jackets wanted to destroy life on Earth for some reason. And this is a head that they found and tried to like reanimate. That ship looks like a bit like a Fireflies class ship. Yeah, the, the, the Prometheus, yes. You know, a little bit. It has like the, the engines that kind of ro rotate. Over here we got some things of the of the engineers, you know, like the the exoskeleton they're using, like this is some sort of biomechanical suit. Here we got David, which for no reason infected one of the doctors with like the alien virus, which does pretty much what the plot requires to do, you know. His daughter who went to the Prometheus School of Running, exactly, you know, went to the Prometheus School of Running. Some different organisms that were affected by the, the, uh, the this virus the engineers used, you know. This thing is called a deacon, you know, it's like a proto-alien. Over here we got the scene where you know the virus infected it was for science good point it was for science uh, arrow keys gamer we got one of the crew member that got turned into a zombie because in the end everything is about zombies as you know oh by the way i'm going to publish a new seven days to die episode tonight just after we finished it i need to you know like encode it and upload it so there's going to be like an episode you know plot heavy episode so it's good just just like a so you know that is a hammer peed oh here we got this the scene with you know like uh, sir peter whalen david the engineer he just killed everybody but basically sweet bring on the seven days yes we got the 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 engineer in his cryo sleep you know Blue guy looks what the one from Watchmen. Oh, like um, Doctor Manhattan, a little bit. Over here we got the Deacon, you see, like a proto alien. And here we start with what I consider canon for this. The incident with the uh, 
uh, Nostromo, you know, on LV426. This is what I consider canon, you know. And Greg Appleby says, sweet. Jason says, yay. And Arrow keeps gaming, sweet. Bring on the seven days. And James Herman says, nice. You know? In 2122, the US CSS Nostromo became the first Wayland Yutani ship to make contact with Xenomorph XX121, returning to Earth. After a standard processing run, the crew was awakened from hypersleep by what the ship internal believed to be a distress signal, you know? Upon seeking the source, a derelict alien craft was discovered. Its hold full of Xenomorph X. A crew member was implanted and taken back aboard the Nostromo. In less than 24 hours, the Xenomorph had killed all but one of the crew, exhibiting an as yet unseen perfection of instinct and form. I sometimes wonder if the producer director of the movies was inspired by the Guyver manga. I don't know. They have some parallels in plot points. Hmm, interesting. James Herman says, totally agree. They didn't do the Alien series justice with prequels. Yes. For me, this is the start. You know, the incident on uh, with the with the um, Nostromo on LV426. Over here, we get a sweet diagram of the Nostromo. You see? The US CSS Nostromo. Here's the resist re registration. If I'm correct, is uh, out of Panama. You know? We got three main decks. It has a, a intrasystem shuttlecraft, the Narcissus, which Helen Ripley uses to escape. You know? It's a pretty, pretty sweet ship. You know? Okay, we got like the patch. That's the registration number. Schematic, lengths at the ship, 334 meters, beam, 215 meters, and draft, 98 meters. You know? Over here, we get the crew of the Nostromo. We got the captain, Arthur Dallas, you see? We got the execu executive officer, Gilbert Ward Thomas Kane, which was the first implanted, you know, that looks like a mining ship, yeah. The warrant officer, Ellen Ripley, you know, she is awesome. Navigator, John Lambert. The science officer, Ash, which turned out to be a synthetic person. The chief engineer, Dennis Parker. And the assistant engineer, Samuel Brett. Everybody here died except for Ripley. And over here we get the Special Order 937, you know? This is the order given to Captain Dallas by Mother, which is the, the, the main computer, you know? Function over form, yes. About the investigation of the signal, you know, they found an, on LV-426. This ship is what we found, the derelict, you know? Uh, and uh, it, it was actually not a distress signal, it was, uh, you know, uh, a warning, you know. They were mining and transport crew, yes, and they, they were towing a refinery thing at that point, you know, but it had been retrofitted, you see. Over here you can see it when it landed, and over here you got the other ship, you see. Uh, this is where they went down into the cargo hold of the alien craft. This is the pilot they found, you know. There's a lot of information over here. The lone engineer, you know. Over here, we got a report. It's classified, you know. So unless you got clearance S2 or above, you, you need to avert your eyes at this point, you know. Uh, Lambert's incident statement regarding quarantine protocol deviation, you see. The egg chamber over there, and we got this thing. This book contains st stuff like that. You see, you get like the, the, the handouts. Mm -hmm. We got the chest buster that emerged, you know, Captain Dallas over there, Ash, when they were trying to get the, the face hugger out of, you know, Kane's face. Over here, we get L Helen Ripley, some quotes from her deposition. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the chamber where the captain talked to mother, the, the, the mainframe, you know. Uh, some information on warrant officer Helen Ripley, you see. 
We get Ripley from Aliens and Ripley from Alien 3. And from Alien... Um, uh, my eyes, it burns, <laughs> yeah. And from Alien... Um, what was it called? Alien 4? I, I have blocked it, you know? I remember the Alien Palace chest has a hole puncturing it from inside out. Yes. The incursion that had is hope. This is 57 years later, you know? Over here we got the planet, you know? Um, this is the main, the, the main planet, you know? It's a gas giant, one of the moons, which is LV-426. Oh, Resurrection, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I have blocked it because that thing is, for me, is non-canon. Alien 4 equal resurrection, yes. Over here we got the atmospheric processor, you know. And here we got the company people, you know, the corpos, if you want the the cyberpunk, you know, terminology, you know. Hey Jay Arrowwood, how are you? He says, JC, hi JC, and hello to all. Love the channel. Keep the wonderful content coming. Thank you, Arrowwood. You see, we got this guy, which is um, Burke, one of the company men, you know. And he asked for a, a crew from Hadley's Hope to go to the site of the crash. And that triggered the whole shenanigans at Hadley, Hadley's Hope. And then this guy convinced Ellen Ripley to go with a team of uh, colonial marines and all hell bro broke loose. Over here you get different, you know, like views. This is from the from the, the, the Bay of the Sulaco, you know. The movie that uh, Alien for Resurrection, the movie that just won't die no matter how many times you beat it with a stick. I agree. And over here we got a nice fold out thing. Of the Sulaco, you see? The USS Sulaco. Like I said, this book is awesome, you see? You you you, you have all the things, you got like a poster view of the Sulaco. Burke. I knew he was a douche back the minute I saw him. Yes, I agree. He was kind of a douche. You know? We got the people involved, the main players so, during the incident, you see? We got Carter Burke. The, the douche, you know, corporate douche. We got Lieutenant uh, First Class Alan Ripley. We got Executive Office Bishop, you know, he also an artificial person. First Lieutenant Scott Gorman. We got Corporal Dwayne Hicks, you know. Um, uh, following this, he traveled back in time to, you know, like uh, save uh, Sarah Connor. Uh, we got Private Trevor Wierzwowski. And we got... Uh, a private first class William Hudson, you know, game over, man, game over. This guy, this guy. You know? Over here we get Master Sergeant All Apone, Corporal Cynthia Dietrich, Private First Class Jeanette Vasquez, Private Mark Drake. And Kyle says, no, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He's the same guy from Terminator. You know, you gotta maintain. You gotta maintain the thing. Remember that I I, I consider only Alien and Aliens canon. You know. And uh, Jay Arrowwood says 23 likes and 30 people watching. Let's hit that like button. I agree. You know, I agree. That means seven people are hate watching or are xenomorphs. We got Private Rico Frosty Frost. This is Frosty. You know, he is awesome. You know. Private Team Crow, I don't remember this guy. He might have died, you know, like early. Arukis Gamer says Alien is my all time favorite sci fi horror show or movie. It's old, but it's still such a good time of a movie. I agree. Yes. Greg Appleby says Game over, man. Game over. My favorite Marine. Yes. Hey, Koala Man. How are you? Welcome. Hey, are there any Terminator build sets or books? Well, I don't know. Books, most likely. Build sets? I don't know. I'll look into that, you know? 
we got Corporal Collect Ferrer. She was the pilot of the, the, the dropship, you know, which we will see later. And this was Private First Flight Daniel Spongmeyer, which failed to recognize that an alien had infiltrated the dropship and caused everybody to just die, you know. Over here we got the deployment of the machines, uh, the, of the machines, of the, of the uh, marines, you see. When they entered the colony of uh, Hadley's Hope in the atmosphere processor. We got more reports, you know, Corporate Dwayne Hicks. This is the deployment they did, how they enter, you know. They how they encountered the, the, the corridors. Here we got an account of the first encounter and a report, you know. John J. Marachuk, engineer maintenance, post-mortem. This is a report he filed, you know, post-mortem. This is the guy that they tried to remove the creature, you know, the face hugger, you see? So this is a report of how they he, he died, you know? Like a death certificate, I guess. Huh? The transcripts over here. And here we get the M41A pulse rifle, standard, you know, uh, you know, like weapon for the US uh, CM. Mm -hmm. Tim Crow was the co-pilot. He had a very smart pilot, like a red shirt in Star Trek. Don't expect them to live very long. Yeah. This was this was really good, you know. It's, it's the one that you, you shot and it went like I like this this weapon, you know. It also has a 30 mm U1 pump action grenade launcher over here, you know, in case you want to get serious. You know? This is an awesome book. I just ordered it says a uh, JR Wood 117. That's awesome, just awesome. And this over here is an M56A smart gun, you know. This is this is this is the one that baskets and she said like press rock and just started like spraying like this thing has auto targeting, it's just awesome, you know. Yeah, I love the sound of that gun as get as well, you know. This is why I like these sort of streams, you know, because you take something that is a book, it's a work of art, you know. And I show you like what is in here and we reminisce, you know, we go down memory lane watching this, you know. This is the M240 incinerator unit. If you remember Ripley in the final confrontation against the alien queen, she just like taped this and one of this together and just went hardcore. And we got another things like the ballistics helmet, armor, some grenades, some firearms. They even had some chemical agents, you know, they could use. And this over here is an UD-4L Cheyenne dropship. This is the ship they used to get from orbit, from the Sulaco in orbit to the colony, you know. Every, um, every colonial marine ship uh, had a complement of two of these uh, from the Sulaco class, you know. I think someone ultimately built a functional pulse rifle and one guy built a functional airsoft smart gun. Most likely, most likely. There are, I, on eBay, I've seen, you know, like, uh, uh, like replicas of these things, but they're really expensive. I know clo aliens, colonial marines sucked, but the gun sound was spot on with the movies. Yes, I could not resist blasting the whole clips just to hear it sing. You know what? I agree, Aliens Colonial Marine was not what it was supposed to be, but I kind of like it anyway, because I'm a hardcore Aliens fan, you know? So, I, I can enjoy it. Also, if you want, there is a full playthrough of Aliens Colonial Marines in the channel. You just search, you know, in the, the playlist, full playthrough. We got the M557A armor personal carrier, you know? This thing was dropped by the dropship. And then you have like the, all the whole squad, you have like a, a control area. It was pretty cool. You, know? you got like a cannon over here that could go back in order to 
enter they still don't make digital ammo counters so cool i'll check it out yes yes full playthrough on the channel we got a sequence of events you know uh uploaded uh, from a bishop you know countdown we got over here some you know like some small handouts uh this is like a memo from carter j burke you know director of operations first time i watched this movie i was a little kid i do not recommend eating chicken while watching says j arrowwood yes i agree personal carry was my favorite yes uh we got a transcription over here over here you got like this is bishop piloting the, the dropship you see alan ripley during the last fight against the alien queen and like I said, we got a transcript of Corporal Hip's final status, you know, before jumping back in time and saving Sarah Connor, which I believe is the, you know, like the, the canon, you know. I played the Aliens arcade game. I love the stage when you rode on top of the personal carrier shooting Xenos. Yes. And here we got a power loaded, the P5000 power loader, you know, which is... It was so well done in the movie that James Cameron, you know, he actually said that they got um, they got like uh, people from industry you know, like asking him ab about this, you know, because it was uh, like a functioning thing. And well, there, there's development of exoskeletons and, you know, like assisted carrier systems much closer to reality now. Hive expansion, we got some information about the, the the bugs, you know. And we got the encounter of Fiorina, Fury 161, which was a, a Wayland Utani operated a maximum security prison, you know. Over here we got the upload from the USS Suleco to Comnet. It says fire led, hyperleap suspended. Chamber 01020407, override protocol standing by, chemical smoke detected, carbon monoxide, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, path, crystalline silicon. Oh, this is like from the aliens, you know? I always wanted one of those power loaders. Yes, I agree. We got some images from Fiorina 161. Like I said, it was a it was a decommissioned Whaler Utani uh, maximum security facility for double wise and other uh, habitual offenders. Yeah. This is the uh, 337 EEV, you know, like the escape model that was jettisoned from the uh, from the Sulaco. Uh, yeah, and Paul. Puts like a two two figurines. I don't know what that means, but it has to be something related to aliens or to life in general. Over here we got the main players during the Fiorina 161, uh, you know, incident. Harold Andrews, the superintendent. Francis Aaron, prison guard, also known as 85 because that was his IQ, you know. And Jason says, I've been driving Ford Lynx for 28 years and it would be awesome to operate a real power loader like that. I agree. We got Jonathan uh, Clements, sorry, let's bit a little bit. Jonathan Clements, the medical officer, you know, he went on to be the head of the Lannister family, you know, and was killed by, you know, Tyrion Lannister with a crossbow, this guy. We got Leonard Dillon, who was an inmate, Walter Golick, Robert Murs, a lot of inmates. You know? Here we got the the rest of the of the people you know that were during the the Fiorina Fury One Sixty One incident, and of course Lieutenant Helen Ripley. You know, this is the xenomorph they they encountered during the during that this guy just died you know because it has no brain you can see it was different you know he he spawned from a from a, a dog and here's a, one interesting thing that you may not know 
There was one survivor from the Fiorina 161 incident, which was one of the inmates, this guy, Morse. He wrote a story, Space Beast, which you can get the pamphlet over here, you see? You can read it. It's the story of the incident in Fiorina 161. This thing went viral across the core systems, you know? And that's how the information about the xenomorphs became public knowledge. Yeah. Here we got Michael Bishop, the guy that designed the Bishop, uh, you know, androids. When I worked for the government, I used to call my boss Edify, he never caught on. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Here we got Ripley, you know, she was infected with an alien queen. So that's why the Xenomorph, you know, the drone didn't attack her. She had a queen inside. You know? And that's Alien 3, which, if you ask me, is the last of the passable movies Alien. For me, is Alien and Aliens, you know? Yes, he survived, you know? He survived, he wrote that little story, and it went, like, viral on the core systems. For, for me, is Alien and Aliens, you know? And if you stretch it, okay, Alien 3, because I don't like Ripley dying. I would like Ripley to make it back to Earth with, with like, uh, Hicks and Newt, you know, like in the... Um, uh, JC and all you peeps, I'm off to watch your playthrough. May check your Alien Isolation playthrough. Cheers and have fun. Okay, thank you, Arrow Keys Gamer. See you later. Uh... I would like more like the War Against Earth, you know, comic saga, uh, where they go to Gateway Station and like an engineer ship approaches and try to terraform the, the planet, and there's an alien infestation on Earth, stuff like that, you know. Now this bullcrap with the fall of the USM Origa, you know, which was 200 years after the incident on Furina Fury 161. Uh, basically, the USM uh, United Assistance Mil Military was testing, you know, trying to clone Ripley and separate the human DNA from the alien DNA in an attempt to replicate the species. You know? They failed a lot of times. It was a doctor. This was one of the security guys. No, he led the science team. This was the general that led the operation, you know. Yeah, Don MacBazorello is a live stream. Alien thingy, yes. And we've been streaming for 48 minutes, so there's been a lot of good stuff, you know. This is the ship, the the Betty, you know, they were smugglers, and they smuggle like uh, cryo sleep uh, like pots for the guys uh, on the military to do their, you know, their experiments. Koala Man says, I like one and two. Really didn't like the way Hicks got an off-screen death in Alien 3. Yes, but like I said, for me, 1 and 2, those are canon. 3 could be, but I don't like it. But it's still set in the same universe and in the same timeline, you know? Uh, the doctor went off to become Chucky. Oh yeah, sorry, I hadn't noticed. The doctor, after the incident on this ship, went on and became, you know, he, he possessed a doll and became Chucky. Good, good, good point, Jason. Good point. But, you know, this one, the, the alien resurrection, was it? It's bullcrap. You know? Here we got the crew of the Betty, you know. This guy went on to, uh, you know, be like a, like a mob boss. Um, and he eventually faced against uh, Brandon Lee in The Crow. You know. Uh, this guy became Hellboy. Uh, and Arrowgood says we got 31 people watching and 35 likes. That's the way you like it. Awesome, you know? Awesome. Yes, these sort of streams do not attract large audiences, but I like to do them because they're more like intimate, you know, and we can have fun watching the proper documentation of the nerdy things, you see? Uh, we got some of the weapons. We got uh, the briefing of security officer Y Bossy. Assigned to the USM Auriga, you see? We got the information over here. Brad Dorif, I think, is the actor name. Okay. 
We got some of the different, you know, like things. Aliens in the water. For some reason, there were like water levels. And this is like the new queen, you know. Uh, like the, the, the queen. Um, she had like human DNA. The alien game was okay, but the films just looked so odd. Hmm. A xenomorph hybrid, which, if you ask me, is a bullcrap. You don't give the xenomorphs eyes, you know. Brad also played in Dune. Oh, I, I, I know about that. And we had a new beginning, you see. Hey, uh, Paul, with the with the the tip, twenty bucks. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, you see, this is what they were doing, trying to recreate the situation, medical applications, possibilities. Thank you, Paul. You know, these allow, the, 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 the super chats and the, and the stream elements, you know, PayPal tips, they allow me to buy the nerdy things, you know. But like I always say, don't feel bad if you can't donate. It's okay, you know, you being here, you watching the videos more than enough. But if you can and you want, well, we do it, you know. We watch them, we, we, we take, we buy the nerdy things, we share them with you. The girl android went off to become a kleptomaniac. Yes, yes, that is, that is true, that is true. You see, this is one of the possible applications Whale and Yutani has thought for, you know, the aliens, you know, like techno-organic weaponry, you know. Yes, we love nerdy things, I agree. What else do we have over here? You see, we get armor. We got wear, uh, you know, like uh, footwear. In the comics, I believe they explained the Zemos were empathic and hunted by sensing fear. Oh, interesting. You see, we got like things that can, you know, like clap their, 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 their mouths. You know? Thank you, JC, for sharing the nerdy thing, says Arrow. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you like the stream. You see? This way, you could shock them if they behaved badly. They were trying to weaponize the, the drones. You know? You see, is it possible to take a xenomorph intact? Just Whale and Yutani, you know, internal documents. Obtaining a specimen, the technical considerations, the overview of the plan. You know, over here there's a thing. Oh, look at this. Inside editions, Game of Thrones, other things. These movies thrill me every time, says Don Mac Pezzarell. That's awesome. So you see, this is Alien, the Well and Yutani report. This is the necessary documentation you need to have in order to, you know, like uh know the, the the state of the art of the of the alien things you know so yeah we i do like the earth wars comic book yes yes you know in fact just give me a second because i'm going to quickly go back and get the comics we're going to do like a bonus you know bonus round bonus round so just give me a second i'll be right back Okay, I'm back. Bonus round. We got my Alien Comics, you know? So, sadly these are in Spanish, but we can, we can look at the pictures, you know? So, let's start the bonus round. This is Aliens War Against Earth, you know? 
it's a four uh, it's a four you know issues uh, series how do you feel about merging the predator and the alien stories it's good as long as you don't overdo it you know i can see a universe where you get the aliens and you get the predators haunting them but don't overdo it you know like the aliens versus predator i play aliens versus predator 2 i think it was a pretty good game you know pretty good game okay bonus rank so we're gonna start with the first one aliens war against earth when I did tech support for a school district, we were wiring and had to enter a one, point, uh, one per one meter access channel. I say no freaking way. Reminded me of the ducks in Aliens. Yes. JC, check out Blue Cobras. Very nice tip. Blue Cobras? I'll, 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 I'll try to remember that. What is Blue Cobras? You know? Because Blue Cobras is, is what? Like uh, Blue Cobras? I don't know. AVP comics in uh, works in comics, not so much in movies, in my opinion. Yeah, not in movies, you know, but uh, like the games, they were really good. Okay, so Aliens, War Against Earth, you see? This is what I consider... Hey, Noel, welcome to the stream. This is what I, uh, me, personally, consider the canon continuation of Aliens. You know, Alien 2, Aliens, this is continuation. This here is Newt, you know, she's a few years older after the incident on LV-426, you know. She has like nightmares, you know, this is the what we just saw. Uh, no, he left a very nice tip. Oh, he tipped. Oh, sorry, Blue Cobras tip. Yes, 50 bucks for the nerdy things. Thank you, Blue Cobras. I was just thinking and uh, what, whatever. Thank you very much, man. You know, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Blue Cobras. <laughs> yes, he donated for the nerdy things. Yes, awesome. You know, that's... Uh, well, uh, that's why we're getting the bonus, you know? We're getting the bonus because we like them nerdy things. We like to check this. So thank you, Blue Cobras. Thank you very much. We will get more, you know, nerdy things. <laughs> so, like I said, this was, you know, like... The fight in Acheron, LV-426, you know. This is the, like, Newt watching the fight of Ripley against the Alien Queen with the power loader, you see. And this is, a, a, you know, like, Newt a few years later, you see. She's grown up, they are with Ripley, you know, she's a, she, she doesn't like Ripley, you know. The donations will help to ensure future stream constant. Exactly, you know. I get the donations, I buy the nerdy things, you know? We get a lot of nerdy things. We get a lot of these streams coming, you know? The next stream we're going to do is going to be a, an Aliens RPG stream. We're going to check out the content that I like. So, yeah. so, like I said, this is the War Against Earth comics, you know? Newt, she's older, she doesn't like, uh, you know, Ripley. She slaps her over here, you see? Um, and they are going to, the, the, we got like uh, Ripley, um, there's even Hicks, you know, they take one of the ships and they go to a special planet in order to capture an alien queen, something like that, you know. JRWood117 says, I had to buy two sets of this comic so that I could read one and put one away for my kids. Yeah. Well, I have it, you know, in Spanish. I bought it here in Chile, like, several, you know, parts of a century ago. Let's not get into that. Really looking forward to all of these upcoming nerdy streams, says Don MacPex Zorel. Yes, we are going to... We got the nerdy things. I always say it when you do the donation or the tips or the things or the super chat. It's for the nerdy things. So now you, you see the nerdy things, you know. It goes to do two things. Nerdy things and equipment. For instance... This camera, this microphone, this camera. Oh, sorry. I just, I just punched the thing. This camera, that light, all of this equipment from the donations. Yeah. They got some info over here. We got Ripley, you know. Did I, did I, I, I kind of messed up the thing there. Okay. 
and like I said, they they're taking over here the uh, like the Ripley has like the 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 the, the pulse rifle. You see, they got a lot of flashbacks. This is Ripley like interfacing with the engineered ship. You see, some people dying over there with the aliens. You know, we can't just read this. This is like, um, uh, they're using a drop ship to destroy a ship from the Whalen Corporation. The artwork in this comic is just phenomenal. I agree. This is just, just it's awesome. And over here, we got, okay, that's gone. Okay, that was the first one. We now put them in the necessary envelopes. You see, because we like to keep the comics. Who was the artist for this book? I believe, let me say, um, Sam Keith, colored by Monica Livingstone. The cover was made by John Bolton. Oh. So the alien movies are based on these comics? No, this comic is what would happen in theory after aliens you know like i said for me alien and aliens are always the canonical ones this happens instead of alien 3 aliens war against earth you know you can get it possibly on ebay or something like that and uh, paul says i'm a big fan of alex rocks awesome okay so that's the first one done Second, Aliens War Against Earth. I might even, you know, like buy the this on on eBay to have the the original ones. We got Newt, you know, she's having like dreams. The drawing by Sam Keith, color by Monica Livingstone, covers by John Bolton. Thought it was Sam, who was one of the founders of Image Comics. He did the, the Max comics. The Max, huh? I want a sequel with the scheming suits at Wayland Yutani get infested. Well, there is one over here where the, well, in this one also, the Earth, you know, is overrun by the aliens, you know? Over here we get, like, people having, like, visions of the, of the alien queen. And these guys are on Earth, you know, which has been devastated by the aliens. They're hiding, you know, and they're using... Look at this camera. It's like a, it's like an old video camera, you know, they're using to like broadcast and I don't know, send messages. This is why we collect the nerdy things, you know, the good stuff. We're here with the aliens, you know. I don't know, these are, like I said, survivors on Earth, you know? And over here we got Newt. I think Newt is going to save this girl, you know? She got, like, the like the transmission. And she's going to save her, something like that. We got Ripley, we got Hicks. You see, he, he has, like, the, the burn marks on, her fa on his face, you see? This is what, for me, is canon after... Aliens, you know, Alien 2. We got some people. What? Uh, Stufa Kim Pendus became a member. Oh, awesome. Welcome to the channel. That's awesome. You see, they're doing some preparations for the mission. This is Ripley, like saying what the mission is you know how they plan to bring back a queen you see they got a chamber that's lined with skulls from drones from alien drones you see this is the only way to transport the queen you see and that's okay i'm just gonna store this as you can, as you can see my comics they, they get treated well, you know, because these are important documents. You know, living pieces of history. 
That's the second one. The third one, Aliens, War Against Earth. You see, we got like a, a, a ship. They were flying to the alien home world, you know, and they had like a, a drop ship, you know, like modified in order to be able to transport the alien queen. Their plan is, if I remember correctly, we'll see, it was basically uh, treat your coming as uh, long and hard. Yes, you keep it. They plan to capture a queen, they go to Earth, the queen attracts the aliens, they nook it. Something like that was the plan, you know, we'll see. Here they got to the surface of the of the planet, you know, you, you got like a drop uh, with a dropship and a, a, you know, the, the, the vehicle, the, the, the marine vehicle. I believe that some of the novels are direct follow-ups to the comics. Yes, a lot of nobles and stuff you know modified you know power loaders modified for combat you know alien hand to alien combat yes thank you kim pendus uh, welcome to the to the family you know? we got some aliens here you're just messing with people And someone just, you know, like firing, blasting the aliens. And remember, they intended to capture an alien queen, you see? We got more aliens over here. They're running around in the vehicles, you know? You see? One of the aliens destroys the windshield. And Newt just goes bananas, showing, shove the, the weapon right in, in the, the alien's mouth. And blast him into oblivion, you see? And then she's all smug. And Hicks is all happy, you see? These are the good comic books, you know? This is, remember, this is the bonus round. We already saw the Whaling Utani report. This is the bonus round, you know? Alien comics. Over here we got, I guess these comics will be my next reading project. It, they're good comics. We got the alien queen, you know, Ripley, as uh, yelling at her, you know, explains, explain to me about my daughter, you know. If you remember, you watch Aliens, the extended cut, uh, uh, Ripley had a daughter, you know. She died of cancer, uh, I believe, like four years before uh, Ripley was um, found, you know, adrift. Over here we get... Uh, you know, like uh, Ripley using the modified power loader to go hand to hand against the Queen. You see, we got like a wall of aliens running to protect the Queens, uh, shooting people, shooting aliens. You know, like doing the defensive formation, all of the stuff. And now Ripley, you know, like with the power load, the modified power loader, they're just grabbing the Queen and pulling her into the ship. You see. And into the chamber they prepared. You see? And that's how they acquired the queen. You see? The queen. Now, we just put this secure in its sleeve. Sorry. I hit the microphone. This is the last of the War Against Earth comics. We're gonna we're gonna watch. Uh, I mean, we're gonna look at one of these comics that we have over there. These comics are kind of old and are hard to ha find in good condition. I agree. You know, good thing is I have them from when they were new, because I'm old, old and jaded. But it's what we have. And I am jaded because this is not the original, you know, like sequel to Aliens. A drawing by Sam Keith, color by Monica Livingston, the cover is by John Bolton. Here we got, oh, those survivors that were on Earth that Newt is going to save, you know? 
And Koala Man says, in the words of Han Solo, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes. You see, we got Ripley at, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the space station preparing the things. And Newt, she says, we got to go and we got to, you, you got to save, the, you know, the, the survivors, you know. J.R. Wood says, I got these comics when they first came out. So that tells you how old I am. Yes, everybody's old, you know. We're old and tired. You know, so Newt, she just says, just screw it, you know, and she goes and she goes to save the people on the surface, you know. Here we got Ripley with the ship that had the alien queen. You know? And uh, here is Newt, you know, using like a personal ship and we looking all badass with the weaponry, you know. Cult never gets old. Cult? Or cool. And you see Newt like shooting the aliens, trying to get to the survivors. And finally she finds the survivors, you see? And in the meantime, here's Ripley. She's opening. She left the queen. And Newt is just like saving the kid, you know. And Joe says, the one thing I absolutely hated about collecting comics was organizing them into new boxes. The process would take weeks because I would stop and reread books, thus taking forever to finish. Happy problem, we call that. You know? Ripley is reunited with Newt. And you see, here's the, the, the queen. And Newt saves the kid, you know, the survivor kid from the queen. And, well, Ripley just shoots the queen. And Paul says, I wish I had the comics I had when I was a child. So much time reading, I miss those times. Yes. You know, and they're escaping with Newt. And in the end, they just go away. And here's the plot twist, you know. Ripley was my hot rub when I was younger and still is. Don't tell the wife. Yes. Mom's the word, you know. But yeah, Helen Ripley was just awesome. Once they, they escape from Earth, an alien ship approaches. Global temperatures start dropping, you know. They were terraforming Earth. And Ripley, Newt, and the survivors, they just go looking for a new home. And that's the end of Aliens War Against Earth. Which, if you ask me, is the official sequel to Aliens. Because none of that Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection shenanigans. And continuing with the bonus round... Because we got, we unlocked the bonus ram. But we're going to do this kind of fast because, like I said, I need, I need to do the seven days to die thing. We got Aliens Genocide. This is a comic that I bought, you know, in Italy. If you can believe it. This one. And then when I got here back to, to, to my country, to Chile... I bought the first two issues because I got like, it's, it's a combo, issues three and four, I bought them in Italy and then I got issues one and two here in Chile, you know? And so we're going to quickly, you know, uh, look at this, Aliens Genocide. Like I said, we're going to go fast because I need to like encode the new Seven Days to Die episode and just publish it. You see, we got like an alien world where we got two uh, two kinds of aliens, red and black, you know, and the black aliens and the red aliens are just fighting in order to eradicate one of the different, you know, like kinds of aliens. And on Earth, uh, all right, call man, this is a great series. Yes. After, you know, like the first Olympics, after they take back the planet, you know. This is like 
years after, once they managed to eradicate the, the aliens on Earth, you know, the first Olympic. And we got people, uh, you know, athletes that have a, a super performance because they take in drugs uh, made with the xenomorph, you know. Jason says, the two best comics I had in high school was Journey into Mystery 83, 83, first appearance of Thor. An Incredible Hulk 181, first appearance of Wolverine. Would be worth a lot now if I still had them. Well, that happens, you know, that happens. You see, we got like the cannons, defensive cannons you still can see in, on Earth, you know. Uh, we got people going bananas with the new drugs, like killing people, you know, superhuman strength. And then shooting, you know. This is like new buildings, you know, Manhattan. Rebuilt after, you know, the first, uh, you know, they, they, they retook Earth. Hey, Michael is here. Hi, JC. Eric and the baby say hi. Sorry we're late. Uh, what did I miss? Well, you missed the, the main the main course of this, you know, meal, which was the aliens, the Will and Yutani report. And we're in the bonus round. Yes, like Jay Arrowwood says, we are in the bonus round. We are looking at my collection of aliens, uh, you know, books. We we're going to quickly finish this and then I have to encode the new seven days to die video and just publish it. So that's going to be like in a, in a couple of a uh, uh, couple of hours. Yes, probably a whale and Yutani drug. Exactly. You know. And we got some people over here talking about the drugs and the way they need to uh, what they need to do. You know, they're going to go and they're going to try to catch the alien queen. You see, and they're going to go. To the new to the new world where there's a, a war a genocide war between these two factions like the red aliens and the black aliens you know? don't worry michael don't worry you know this is just the bonus round bonus rounds are good so okay we got this oh I keep like touching that thing genocide two they arrive at the alien planet you see we got like the queens, we got like the people on the ships, you see. This is the new ship, as you can see, more advanced design, because this is, I don't know how, how long, but this is way after, you know, they retake Earth, you know, and eradicate, eradicate the alien infestation. But like I said, they're trying to get to the queen, get, get uh, you know, like things from the aliens in order to make drugs pharmaceutical enhancement things you know they have like clone bodies for how for you know like incubating the, the aliens there's like a, a marine that takes pills that's why he's super strong and super jackass you know next man oh, I don't know Just some stuff in the in the ship, you know. They're fighting against some some escape aliens here. Oh. And you see, they entered orbit around the, the planet where they were going to harvest the queens, you know. It's whole like a like an umbrella corporation thing, you know. You see, they separate the drop ship and they get to the surface. Let me just take this. Ah, again, I'm touching the microphone. That's just the bullcrap. And this is the one I bought in Italy. It's in Italian. You see? Notte a margine. Seconda ed ultima parte di questa nostra prima eh, miniserie. Che ne pensate di questa formula? Vi intriga? You see? It's in Italian. I, I, I speak Italian, by the way. Spanish, Italian, a little bit of Portuguese, a little bit of English. I don't know. I like languages. There's really good Aliens comic series from Dark Horse that focuses on the Marines. There's a really interesting bit involving the death row inmate using, uh, using the power armor. Oh, interesting. I'll oh, check that. And here, you know, they are just like shooting 
because there's like a civil war on the planet, you see. And they're trying to land in order to, they have like a force field. You know, this is very much advanced technology, much more advanced than the one we saw in Aliens, you see. They go outside, they shoot the aliens, they engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they had like power suits, they captured them, you know. Like I said, this is like the Umbrella Corporation version of aliens, and you see, they had like the, the bubble of the shield. You see? This is a force field. Pretty damn good English in my opinion, says Jason. Thank you. You see, he uses the the the, the new like you know uh what? I'm oh, sorry. Like the drugs made from from the xenomorphs, you see? We got the like the marines. And they shot like mega cannons in order to clear a little bit of the of the ground, you see? There's a lot of aliens, a lot of aliens. They're engaging, like I said, a civil war, you see? Got some people fighting the aliens. This is just like a whole plot with one of these guys, I think works for a rival corporation or some, something like that, you see? You got dead people now. You see, this guy is just with the head of an alien. Vehicles. This is the guy that's kind of drugged up like a super soldier, you know. They discover some sabotage, you see? This is one of the one of the power armors. JC speaks better English than most people I know and I live in the US law. Thank you, thank you. And you see, someone planted the face hugger, you see? They had like clamps for keeping the egg closed, face hugger drops. And this is the final episode. You see, this was a two-episode book that I bought in Italy. This was I bought this in '95, so just you get an idea. You see, la fantascienza è il regno dell'immaginazione, i libri la chiave per entrarci. Science fiction is the kingdom of imagination. Books are the key to enter. The Elves of uh, Shannara. I've, I've heard about that series. Sh Shannara? Something like that? Hans Rudy Giger. La genetica della paura. Hans Rudy Giger. The genetics of fear. You see, we got people like struggling with the aliens after the sabotage. Uh, this is the clamps that they use to keep the the ex close you see they they launch an orbital strike they nuke the site from orbit you see they're shooting the nukes they annihilate one of the nests you see with nukes this is how you do it you take off you shoot the site you nuke the site from orbit is the only way to be sure but they nuke one one of the nests so they could like harvest the other. That's the mistake, you know, you needed to shoot both nests. And you see the raid alien hive, gone. But they shot it and they nuked it from orbit. If you can find the comics and the novels from Machiko Gonu, they were reading. She ends up living with the predators and hunting the Xenos with them. Nice. And now they go, you see, they try to get the, the, remember that the goal, I believe, is to go and get the queen, you see? This is like the, the armor they use. Learning Italian with comics like this will be fun and easy. I agree. It's always easier to learn when you're having fun. This is like the thing they use to, to harvest like the, the, the royal jelly of the, of the queen, you see? We got the queen over here. I have an art book by Giger looking at this early work before including Alien. Weird imagination, that guy. Kind of obsessed, says Colm. And yeah, well, he was kind of weird. You have to be a little bit weird in order to be able to, you know, like, produce that kind of art. And we got people dying over here. You see this guy shooting. And th this guy reveals himself to be a traitor, you see? 
And there's like the, the commander like fighting against the guy with this traitor. They are in the queen's chamber. They're trying to harvest. Now remember, they're trying to harvest like the royal jelly, you know, from the queen, something like that. I think he did a lot of drugs. Well, could be. That would explain a lot. And you see, in order to escape, they take a bunch of the pills and they put it in the mouth of this guy who was like the addicted super soldier. And he goes like blind with rage. You see? And starts like fighting the aliens and they tore one of his arms off and he doesn't give rat's ass. He keeps shooting and kicking the aliens. And while this guy is going like super soldier, the, the others, you know, escape, you know. JC speaks English. American speaks a, speak a derivative of English called Yang speak. At least is what the British say, says Joe. Yeah. And they manage to escape and make their way back to the ship, you know. And this guy just throws a saxophone at the aliens. He's like, screw you! And the alien gets in the family bunk. And then they take off, you know. And they go, and one of the aliens is playing the saxophone or something like that. I don't know. Look at this. The original, uh, you know, like, Human Torch Saga. Weird. And that is Aliens Genocide. You know? Another of all the awesome, awesome Alien series. I'm gonna look on eBay, see see if I can get some of these books. I know these are very old, but you'd be surprised what you can get on eBay, you know? You can get the good stuff. Yes, the alien can play the blues. Okay, so, Aliens War Against Earth, plus the Wayland yutani Report, you see? A Nerdy Things Stream, you know? for your consideration. So yep, I think we're going to leave this here. Let me just switch to big JC. I hope you enjoy this. This is what we do with the nerdy things, you know? We look at them, we, we, we do the things. You know? So yeah, like I said, I'm going to like sign off right now, encode the next seven days to die video and just upload it and just publish it for your, you know, viewing pleasure. So yep, yeah, I hope you had a good time. That's it for now. See you next time.